What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. Hey, I got something good I'm gonna be sharing with you today. We're gonna to be doing some golf oysters right here on the grill in the back. Check it out, let's look what we got. Straight from Gulf Runner Seafood. They supplied these golf oysters that are fresh. So stay tuned. Let's see what we can do with these boys. All right guys, so we're at the grill. Let's look what we got here. We're ready to put these on. They look real good. I've already done a few just to pass the time quickly. Just look at these. These look real good. Look how plump they are. I mean, the place Gulf for our seafood here in Dallas, Metroplex, they supply some good product. And I got these yesterday. They're fresh. These look awesome. And just to show you, look at this joker right here. This is the biggest one. This is the kind of stuff you're getting. This they're not all this big but shoot they're they're nice size so let's show you what i got here on the side before i get started and show you this last one how to open these i got some hardcore carnivore meat chalada texas chili lime rub i got some holy voodoo by meat church we got some cayenne garlic sauce tabasco mozzarella cheese and a couple lemons we're going to be using the squeeze on there so I'm going to take this last one right here. Let's put it over here. You want you a good oyster knife right here. I got a Dexter oyster knife right here and a rag or some protective um, cut gloves to protect your hand. So you want to cut. And so on this, you can kind of see typically how it goes. Usually the bottom part of the oyster shell kind of be coming, coming up like this in a way, kind of curving up and kind of sticking out on the edges and the back end will stick out a little further than the top. So what I'm gonna do, after I've rinsed all these off, get all the sand off of there, I failed to mention that, it's gonna find a little part on here, and this can be a little difficult sometimes. This is a big one. You wanna get your oyster knife in there, and you wanna turn. I'm gonna work it a little bit until I can turn it. This is a big one, so guys, bear with me. <laughs> on this one, we're gonna get it open, just like that. All right, so I'm, I'm just as excited as you are just to see how this looks. So take your little oyster knife and kind of go on around. Try not to waste some that liquor that's inside and scrape the top. Okay. Go around. This is pretty loose. I think I got most of it. I'm going to get all I can. And voila, that's huge. Look at all that meat. That is, oh my gosh, let's look at it. Kind of scrape a little bit, get it loose in there, get it cut up. And I don't want to waste this one right here. <laughs> so I'm going to put it, a little juice is coming out. This is going to be a little difficult right there. I'm going to set it right there. So you want your, your grill nice and hot. I got it about 400 degrees. Let's get this top off right here. All I did, guys, on here is I laid some lump hickory charcoal on the bottom, spread it out, then come back and I had my grill grace right here on the top. And got it real hot. All my charcoal is gray and they're ready. And the reason I'm gonna use my grill grates is because these will hold my oysters kind of up and they kind of sit in the grooves as they cook. So let's go ahead and get these on. Let's go ahead and put one on right there. Get in the groove. Get the other one on over here. Keep make sure they're over that fire. Try not to waste any of this juice out. That's a little hot. I could have had some gloves on today, but I think I'll be all right. I'm gonna get the next one on. last one not the last one but next to last i'm gonna hold this big one in a minute put your oyster on i'm gonna put this joker right here in the middle 
I just hope find a way to, for it to balance up. Ah. Oh. We're going to get him. There we go. That'll be good enough. <laughs> so what I want to do now is I'm going to take a little rub on some of them. And on half of these over here, I'll do the hardcore carnivore rub. Let's get a little bit on there. You want to taste the, taste the oyster. And, there's, and these things are salty this time of year. Just some of that holy voodoo on there. I think this little middle one I'll kind of mix up. Put both of the rubs on there. Then you want to come back. You want to hit it with a couple hits of hot sauce, Tabasco. You can use whatever hot sauce you want on this. It's got a little garlic in it, so we're going to use that right there. Okay. Then, I'm going to cut a lemon. Let's get it rolled out a little bit. If they're a little stiff, roll it out a little bit until it gets a little squishy. A couple seeds out. And go ahead and squeeze. Run out of juice. Get another one. That's all right. That seed fell. We all right. I'll knock it out of there in the middle. There it is. Make sure that. All right. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to close this up, and we'll come back and do the rest of the steps in a minute and let this cook. What we're going to be watching for is from some of this meat to kind of start curling up. All right, let's take a look at these. They're starting to cook real good. Now, you see how that's curling up like that? Boiling a little bit. Something I failed to mention, it, and this is key. I got a little of this roasted garlic herb butter from HEB. And I'm going to put a little bit on there. And then we're going to be throwing some cheese on it. So I'll just put a little bit on each one, however much you want. Put a little bit right here, and that'll go all up in there while it's cooking. A little butter doesn't hurt. Last one, and as that's already starting to melt on some of those. While that's already melting, I'm going to put my cheese on it. And this, this is mozzarella. The reason I want to use mozzarella, you use whatever you want, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to toast these. And with mozzarella, to get the flavor out of, the, out of that cheese, you want to toast it real fast. So I got a little torch over here. I'll be showing you what I'm, how I'm going to do that. All right, with this torch, I'm gonna go ahead and toast this mozzarella up. Just like that, get a little toasting on there. So all you wanna do, get to start melting. Yeah. Throw this top back on for another two minutes or so, and I think we'll be done. All right, now here we go, moment of truth. Look at these things. These are going to be so good. Got that mozzarella cheese toasted on here. The butter's all inside of there. You can see all that butter. We put lemon on it. We put some of our favorite rubs. Now we're going to give them a try. See which one I want to do. Let's try this big one right here. All right. Mm, right there. Get some of that juice. See how this tastes. Mmm. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Hope the shell's not too hot. So we had a little technical difficulty with the sound and my mic, but hey, let's look at what we got here. That juice looks so good. Too bad that shell's a little too hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth off. I'm trying to get every little piece I can get out of there. 
Man, that's so good. You guys are gonna love this recipe. These grilled Gulf oysters I got from Gulf Runner Seafood. They're good. Gotta add that lemon on there. You know, you gotta add a little more tang. Get those seeds off right there. But hey, if you like this, subscribe. Hit the instant notification bell. Share with your friends. Like it. Till next time, grilled Gulf oysters. Mm-mm-mm.